Hello, everybody. I'm Kobo Chasco. And I'm Bubba K. We, we welcome, welcome you, you to Beyond the Scuttlebutt. The Scuttlebutt. Thanks for joining us. How you doing? Everybody have a great Father's Day? You know what, man? They need to change that to Daddy's Day. Why is that, Bubba? Think about it, man. Any swinging dick can be a father. It takes a real man to stick around and be a daddy. Well, I mean, that's not entirely accurate today, especially when you're talking about the LGBT. What up there, buddy? I'm going to have to stop you right there. <laughs> I know a lot of things have changed in the past few years. Hell, I just read that men are breastfeeding. I mean, that is crazy. I believe the term they prefer is chest feeding now. Let me tell you something right now. Yeah. I've been chest feeding long before it was a thing. In a word, in a place, but man, man, you know my mom. I always describe her as a pot of instant potatoes, no lumps. Oh come on, man! You can't be talking about anime like that, Bubba. Now focus. Focus. No focus. Oh. But moving on to the first video. We find some robbers get a little carried away. Let's check out the video. Well, damn. That's definitely an efficient way to move. I pass the stairs all together. Right on. Using a noggin. You ain't wrong there, buddy. Not wrong at all. Well, guitar. Oh, oh, shit, man. Did you see that? Trying to take that window with him? He was knocked out. Damn. How cold, bro. <laughs> man, he just loaded him up like a sack of groceries, bro. <laughs> I couldn't tell if they were moving out of the apartment or robbing said apartment. Well, speaking of people making a fool of themselves, we have a video coming out of Toronto, Canada of what's currently being described as a public freakout. Man, there's been a, such an increase in these public freakout videos. It's where somebody was making a reality TV show all around America. I believe that the pandemic has made everybody a little more comfortable attacking others in public. We'll be digress. Let's get to the video. You're not allowed. That's the security deal. Well, it's... it's I just come to the mall. I don't need a person like you being beside me without a mask. Well, you might want to talk to the security. You might want to talk to the security. Of course, it's a mask shamer. Always a mask shamer. Yep, got you. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. You don't have a mask on. One of the leading causes of public freakouts in 2021. Okay, yeah, sure. And you are. What is your name? What is your name? You're a threat. What is your Who's the real threat here, man? I mean, damn. Look at you. All right. You came from all the way from the other side of the mall just to harass her. It's like his mass shame and senses were tingling. <laughs> oh. This lady, guys, on YouTube, she's causing trouble. She has no mask on. It's okay. She shouldn't be in the mall. Oh, good. At least security show up to stop them. Damn. She's a liar. Hold on. Man, you know what bothered me is the most about all this? What the hell is this guy to judge or tell her that she is an exempt? Does he know? Is he the doctor? I mean, has he seen the paper? Know her personally at all? No. The police needs to come, bro. This is not fair. You might get arrested, sir. No, you will. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Well, Bubba, okay. mask mandates have locked down and emboldened people yeah. to step outside their comfort zones and invade the others. Okay. I tell them that their way of thinking is wrong and that their opinions are the only ones that are acceptable in today's society. Hmm. Crazy. Damn. There you go again with all that. Logic. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, everybody, I believe that's our show today. Oh, well, guys... hold up there, buddy. So I can tell my story about the shopping experience today over at the grocery store with the wife. All right, man. Well, 
Have at her, brother. All right. <laughs> All right, hold on your butts, everybody. The wife and I were heading over to the store the other day. Just got down at the Wiley World, right? So after Wiley World, we're heading home straight through the exit. Well, we're almost there, and the wife does what she usually does. Looks over to me and says, Babe, hey, you know what I forgot? I was like, oh boy, here we go again. Yes, dear? What'd you forget? I forgot my tampons. Whoa! I busted Yui right there because we ain't having no Lincoln situation at the house. No way. <laughs> Got them white carpets. No, sir. Well, I pull into the store there, man. I run running as fast as I can. Come right back out. About two minutes. Empty handed. Wife's looking at me like, uh, what happened, man? Did I have them? I was like, oh. They had them. I just couldn't get to them. But what do you mean you couldn't get to them? I was like, well, there was an obstacle in the way. It's hard to describe this obstacle. She's like, oh, you're full of it. I was like, oh, yeah? Well, I'll show you. Those little assholes. We should go. Smoke alarms are gonna go off any minute. Let's go. Ooh, I told you it was crazy, man. <laughs> sure, and some mm. you expect to find when you're shopping at the grocery store, man. Well, everybody, I'm Cobo Chasco. And I'm Bubba K. We'll see, we'll you, see you next, next time. time. Yeah, I'll be right down as soon as I find my lighter. Oh, you guys are still here? Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in to Beyond the Scuttle, but really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, smash that like button for me. You know, if you're new to the channel, you can always subscribe. Would appreciate that as well. And also go ahead, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Got any suggestions? I'm open to them. All right. Y'all have a good one.